stop it. My lashes look amazing. I'm obsessed with this. I can't believe this happened. M Cosmetics released a brand new mascara. They kindly sent this to me. I was actually really surprised. I must be on their PR list now because I've been buying all of their products besides their Divine Water, which I love. Now I have two of those, but I must be on their beer list, which is huge for me. I am so excited to show you guys this mascara. I did a first impression on my Instagram, if you've seen that already earlier this week, but I wanna break down this mascara and do like an actual wear test where you can like hear my voice and everything and kind of just all of my opinions. And I've tried their old mascara in their lavender packaging, rest in peace because that packaging was so cute, but I did not like that mascara. That mascara was not for me. It did not do enough for me to buy it again. I probably still have it in my mascara drawer. So maybe I could do like a side-by-side -side comparison if you guys want to see that in a separate video. Just if for anyone who's interested in seeing that, just let me know down below. But this mascara is totally different from that mascara as far as the results. This one is by far so much better. And I actually like this one. This is the new Shape Shift 2B Mascara. It costs $26. The only shade they have is in black. I've been seeing in the comments that people want brown. I too want brown. I would love a neutral mid tone brown would be perfect but lately i've been wearing black mascara more often let's just dive right into it this morning as i was doing my makeup i was putting quite a few m cosmetics products on me because i'm kind of getting all of my honeymoon makeup together and this bronzer is so good if you don't want something too warm like not orangey this one's really pretty it's in shade slip they did send me this uh curler it's from equamo I'm not too familiar with this brand. I know it's Asian owned, but it fits my eyes so well. I don't believe you can get it on M Cosmetics website anymore, but I will have it linked directly. So this is a tubing mascara. Many of you know, if you've seen my other mascara videos, I'm not the biggest fan of tubing mascaras. To me, they don't give me the results that I'm looking for. They kind of just give a okay look. But this one, this one I was impressed by. Now, if you love tubing mascaras and you want to find a drugstore one, you have like a similar eye shape to mine or just very like short straight lashes, definitely check out that video here. I also have it in my end card. One thing I like about tubing mascaras is the wand because they're not too big. The bristles are on the shorter side. But with one layer, I'm getting that length. I'm getting that separate separation. You're not really seeing any volume. There's definitely no curl. This is not a mascara that does any kind of curling. I do want to preface that. I don't have any tubing mascaras that curl. If you guys know any good ones, definitely let me know down below, but I've tried pretty much all of the drugstore ones and none of them curl. And curling to me is so hard to find in mascara. I still need to do my all-time favorite mascaras. I will do that for you guys later this fall after I officially move into my new house, but I'm looking forward to that one because I've been just like collecting for the last few years. What this does do, especially with the second layer, it gives lifting. It does lift the lashes up and this is where you will see the volume. And this is where I'm more impressed is the second coat. First coat and eh, second coat is where it's at. My lashes look insane and this is a tubing mascara. Like I'm so impressed. If I'm remembering correctly, I did an M Cosmetics full line review. That's probably close to three years old. I still think it's a really great video, but their first mascara was honestly at the bottom of that list as far as best first worst i was like worst now with this shape shift tubing mascara i would put it up there as one of their best products it is that good and i know i haven't been wearing this for very long this might be my third time wearing this but i'm just so impressed with it to the point that i might bring this on my honeymoon and that's a big deal and i am so glad they got rid of the old one i was just not a fan it wasn't giving enough it really wasn't giving anything at all to me this shape shift mascara it looks so good and i like this is a drier formula like it's wet at first give it a couple seconds add that second layer and then within a few more seconds it's dry I love a good dry mascara. If you guys can't already tell, I'm very impressed with this, but I do want to do wear a test and just show you guys how good this is. It's a yes. My lashes look amazing. They still look lifted. Occasionally, I would see like a little dot or two, but because it was dry, it wouldn't smudge or anything. I kind of would just like flick it off with my fingernail, but this looks amazing. I'm so impressed. This by far is my favorite tubing mascara, and I might even say it's the best tubing mascara. I'm just pleasantly surprised. I don't think you guys are going to be disappointed with this mascara, so if you didn't like the purple one, definitely check out this one. I'll have it linked down below. We have quite a few mascara reviews 
interviews coming up within the next couple of weeks. Like I just got the Charlotte Tilbury mascara. Next week you're going to be seeing the Swede mascaras where I do a comparison between the two. So definitely get ready. And I also recently got the Glossier mascara. So I'm intrigued by that. I haven't really explored Glossier too much. Like I think their lip liner and a lip balm and that's about it. I'll catch you guys in another mascara review. Bye.